Rote's spaceship thing is down. Why? It's a dragon. Not the same dragon. It's a CGI dragon. It was. I don't think it was that CGI back in season one, right? When Race, you know, tried to do the crazy shit with uh, <laughs> letting his minion take the taunt and then going back to the wyvern cave so he could take all of the eggs. I don't know what he did with those eggs. Anyways, we're about to see the aftermath of that. Well, let's begin today's reaction. Garak. There's the wyvern. The captain of the ship is, you know, in a pirate outfit. This is great. Yarhar. We're not fun the dragon. We're just maneuvering. They really respect Lukte. Oh, Yugnot has their own ship? Heroes and champions. Garlock people. Baronet. I hate it. I hate how she's like, gotta be so polite to this asshole. Okay. The purple hair girl, Satsuki, I think? Yeah. You're gonna slay that dragon? You're gonna slay the dragon, bro? You're gonna slay the dragon, bro? You're gonna slay the dragon, bro? Okay. Back to Ryo's party. Ryo left the letter, right? We visited father. The father had a lot of dead flags. Yep, she's busy eating food. Aisha loves eating tasty food. She shows the most emotion when eating food. Everything else, she's just bored or tired. Aisha, what are you doing? Are you not the king of the king? Yo. Yo. Who bought it? <laughs> it's his tree? But he's knocked out wrong. How did he tell Aisha to what? Okay, sure. Sure, he's passed out. <laughs> yeah, just put the tabs on the passed out guy. Fuck it. Ship for the hero. Heroes and Champions is today's title. What kind of people are they? They're all Japanese. They all got Japanese names. Yeah, they're going to Hiroaki will probably be like, ha, don't worry. I am the hero. I have a katana. Whishing! I am the dragon slayer. Whishing! And then he'll fuck up. He's the first thing he's gonna do is try to fight a dragon. He's like, oh shit, I'm outmatched. Then Ryo will show up. Then Ryo will simply win. We already beat a dragon back in season one. Now we can do this. Yo, Hiroaki, make a fool of yourself. <laughs> What is he thinking? <laughs> you motherfucker. He is not stupid, bro. He is just playing low. He's just staying low. He's got his plans. He is scheming behind the scenes. I think everything is still working out to his favor. He's just like, yep, y'all do your thing. I wonder if he's in contact with Race at all. We know that Charles is, and Charles is being manipulated. I don't think Hugnot here would be manipulated as easily as, you know, Charles. But I wonder if there's any contact with Ray. Yeah, what to do indeed. Uh-oh, the hero's stepping up. Okay. Dude, Rizerote's problem was just visiting Beltram. Everything has been shitty for her ever since visiting Beltram, bro. The borders close. Now we're going out. Dragon shows up. Now she got to take the long way out. She should have just stayed home making pasta, bro. They're battle maids. Hiroki wants to be a hero. He just wants to be a little nice. I see shades of Natsuki Subaru here, do you not? I feel like Hiroaki isn't an asshole. He just has this sense of pride and is, 
you know, willingness to prove himself to these new people as a hero here. This, I feel season one Natsuki Subaru from, you know, Hiroaki right now. He's getting too involved. He thinks he can save everything. Okay. It's actually uncanny how similar this is. <laughs> I can't wait for him to be outdone by the combat maids, man. They're probably going to be so much better than him in fighting, and he's going to be just like a coward that gets shown how stupid he is. I wonder what Duke Hugh does thinking right now. It's like, hmm, not a bad idea. Let's get rid of this idiot. I don't know. That's right. You're the hero, bro. Hugh knocks down. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, you just sending a, your own hero to her? And his allies. I don't know everyone's saying, please stop. We don't need you. Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> and he's like, nah, 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 ladies. Nah, 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 I'm the hero. Okay, I got you. Let me just do this for you. Look at that self-righteous indignation of a hero. Hmm. Flora. asking Flora for? Flora don't do shit. She just sitting there looking pretty like a flower. Hugna has the ultimate say at the end of this, bro. What's Hugh not planning? Does he want Hiroaki to make a fool of himself? Does he want Hiroaki to learn from this, you know, mission? I don't know. Is this like a learning opportunity or is he trying to get rid of him? I, I don't know. Flora has no opinions. Okay. Like, you think he's just like appeasing Hiroaki? Like, Hugh not just like, yeah. He's like, Hiroaki be like, oh, you're the guy that, you know, vouched for me. That's one way of going, so he's playing the long con to gain his favor. But this is like, what if something bad happens? Hiroki dies, or maybe if, if that is the case, then he's just useless. And there was no need to get his, you know, favor. If he just dies here, if he makes a fool of himself, he's just a fucking retard and he never needed him then. Okay. Sure. Sure, bro. Oh. Yamato no Orochi? Did you name that? Did he name that? Yamato no Orochi sounds like an actual sword that I've heard of in you know, ancient Japanese lore. How do you know this is actually called that? Did he name it like a chuny person? Or is it actually given, like when you appraise the item? Ooh. Lotte should know that. He named it. He named it. He don't want... Lotte should know. Lotte should know. Lotte has realized. Oh, fuck. We got an otaku here. From Japan as the hero. Oh no. Oh no. Lotte is aware. Stuart's Alphonse. Wait? Arias Cloud here? Okay. Hello, Raymond. Arias history with these? Oh, they go back, huh? Backstory, Arya's family. Ruined family. Hmm. That's some heavy shit going on there with Arya. He just has the most cocky look in his eyes always. That was an awkward stare at the end. Oh yeah, CGI baby. Oh, hmm. Yeah, is your buttocks okay, Madame Flora? I know that the roads are not the best condition for your royal highness. Okay. Lotte! Always trying to get intel. Always networking. <laughs> no, I think she wants to know more about Flora, bro. I don't think you really matter here. I think she pretty much knows all she needs to know about you, bro. I don't think she gives a fuck. That, that look like... <sighs> 
I'm good. I'm good. Oh. Hiroaki, show me what you got. Yo, Hiroaki, show me what you got. Aww. They got some extra guards, you know. The people in the board is the most important. I wanted Hiroaki to go out there, make a fool of himself. And then Arya and the rest of the combat mates to show him what's up. Stuart Alphonse. Incalculable number. Holy shit, Goblin Stampede. Wait, wait. <laughs> <laughs> From Stuart and Alphas is so funny because you motherfuckers back in season one, we fought goblins before, and you had your ass saved by Rio. It's been years. It's been years. I swear to God, if you fucking can't beat goblins still, if you haven't grown since season one, oh my god. <laughs> Say it again. That's, this isn't right. The monster's presence appeared so suddenly, as if this is premeditated. You think Duke Huguenot planned this? There's no way. There's no way. It's more like race, yeah? But how would a race would have even known that this is going to happen, that we're traveling right now, unless Huguenot and race are in conversation? I don't know, but someone's planned this. Someone is sus. Someone planned this shit. It could also be that cringe trope of, Monsters from really within the forest are coming outside. We don't know why. Because there's a really strong monster from within the forest that's, you know, pushing all the monsters outwards. There's stuff like that. But the timing here, I think, matters more. I think the timing here matters more than the presence of monsters out here. CGI soldier so worried. <laughs> the CGI soldier as well. Something about this feels weird. Like, if... It, this is the same feeling I get when I see like a robot AI that's being pushed by a human down and people are being cruel to like the robot. Like, I know that these are just 2D JPEGs moving on screen, but this is like CGI models. And the CGI models getting bullied like this kind of feels like we're bullying robots AIs. Let's go CGI goblins. Wait, 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 what, what, what? In, enhance physical, what, what was it? You guys remember? They all have the ring. And they always say the same shit. Enhance physical ability? Physical durability? I forget. Physical ability. Let's go, Raymond. Oh shit, Stampede. Hiroaki, show up. We need a hero to show up. Dude, we're getting ganked. No voice acting. <laughs> we just did all that yeah, and the CGI night just Mario. You and Alphonse, the only two that's actually, you know, drawn. Let's go, Arya! Combat made, let's go! Head hunting princess. She got a title, huh? Natalie, Chloe, Grace. More maid names. There it is. Enchant physical ability. The classic. Also, look at the CGI goblin and the knights fighting in the background. They're just in a looped animation this entire dialogue. Look at these two right here. They got him at the end, I think. Oh, I remember foot on bullet. They spammed that shit at the wedding. She's like a thief rogue. There it is. The classic. Race. It's always a race. But like, how did he know? Was he tracking us the entire time? The timing of this. He knew he was following? One incredible woman. Arya? Yes. Let's go, Arya. Yeah, like Alphonse and Stewart race. Get him.
Goblin Stampede. No. There's a couple hundred out there, man. Bro, do something. Yo, hero, save us. God, Laura is just so pathetic and pitiful. Laura is just... I feel bad? She still has a debt she could never pay us back, and I'm sure that's gonna debt that's gonna continue to pile on. No one takes her seriously. She's just a decoration. It's just sad. Flora's character is sad. Hiroaki, mm? you don't get to hold it. No, not you. <laughs> Rowana, you deserve better. Rowana, you deserve so much better. I still think Rowana is the most cutie patootie of the show. There is no other girl cuter than Rowana here. No, Rowana, don't, don't do it. No, you deserve better than Hiroaki. Don't do it. Oh. Oh. Rowana, are you falling for this? Are you actually falling for this? I hope she has a bit of Huguenot within, and those eyes are a look of deception. I don't know. I hope she's playing him, cause like oh, Rowena, no. What are those eyes, though? I don't know. <laughs> you said that you would use the power of Orochi, bro. Go out there and use it. Oh, 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 oh. Let's go. Let's see the power of the Yamato no Orochiro, whatever fucking it is. Like, let's go. Let's see it, bro. Let's see it, hero. Well, like, like, does he have any experience? Has he ever trained? I don't know if you spawn in with, like, some sort of base competency with the weapons, but if this is his first time actually fighting, like, like this is gonna go bad. Like, bro's never actually wielded a sword. He's never been in actual combat before. I, 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 oh, oh, no. Hiroaki versus Koki, who is worse? I feel like Hiroaki is like a little bit of a hybrid between Hajime and Koki. Because like he's not a white knight, really. He's kind of cunning and deceptive. He's just... I think Koki would do better. Hiroaki is somewhere in the middle where he doesn't really know who he really is. He gives me that Natsuki Subaru feel, bro. Before he knew that he's a fucking joke. Like he just wants to be good. Look cool. Look how cool I am as a hero. Look at me. But like, can you do this? <laughs> Lotte's internal feelings coming out. Honestly, he takes such looking after, bro. Basically means what a pain in the fucking ass, bro. Oh my god, god damn it. Just stay put, god damn it. <laughs> okay. Okay. Flora, stay put. Look at them CGI fights, bro. Rowana. You're getting ganked. You tell me you're the hero. You're starting to realize that Isekai is not just, you know, sunshine and rainbows, bro. You wish for this. You got what you have, you wanted. You consume so much Isekai content, bro. This is the brutal reality of Isekai. It's not just you have a harem and you get away with everything. Like, bro, pull up. Let's go. That's you. I don't know, maybe. Rowanna. Can you realize how much of a fraud this guy is? Rowana, you deserve better than this. Don't fucking glaze Hiroaki. I'm gonna get all scared. Do something. You're the MC, right? Oh, damn. Rota can heal. Oh, 
残りを他の次女たち私は後方の支援へ回るとこじゃあちゃっちゃと片付けてきて頼りにしているんだからすぐに戻ってアリア is so useful man she's so competent にできることをしないと<笑>彼女 and he's just floating in the mid air and nobody realizes he's up there maybe he's concealing himself there's no way to detect him he's just floating right above you guys <laughs> Diversion. It was all a plan. Now that Arya has gone back, that was all the plan. Arya has gone to the back to the diversion. Race will now step in. Uh oh. Yo, Raymond, focus. Raymond ain't doing shit. Beast. CJ Minotaur. Is this the same guy we beat? A similar guy we beat, you know, in you know season one? It's similar. Kind of. Legendary monster? Yo, Rafe just pops them out whenever he wants to. It's actually crazy that a legendary monster pulled up during these children having little combat practice, man. <laughs> Two? Two of the wait, wait, wait. Did he jump? Did he just jump? <laughs> There's multiple. There's multiple Minotaurs and you know what? Like, I think Hiroaki is a very, very realistic depiction of a typical otaku that gets summoned here thinking it's a video game and realizing that this is not a game. This is the most realistic behavior. If he just got up and just saved the day, it would make no sense. Right? Where the fuck are he just, oh, just, okay, OP dude out of nowhere. I think it's better that he realizes how weak and pathetic he is right now. And take shit more seriously. Maybe would go under training from Arya and like learns how to use his powers for good later on. I think there's potential for Hiroaki, man. Where is Ryo at? Ryo's not just gonna show up, is he? Ooh. There goes our carriage. Flora? He wants specifically Flora. Race has always wanted Flora. Why? Beltram princesses, right? <laughs> and who's gonna save us? Like right now it's looking impossible. We need someone to just show up in clutch. Um You know I'd be fucking stupid and crazy. If Race actually showed up and saved us against the problem that he created. Because right now, unless like Ryo shows up, unless like someone random shows up, I don't know how we're going to get out of this. So maybe Ryo will show up. Maybe someone, you know, OP will show up. But if like Race does it, like he introduces the problem. He's like, oh shit, my bad. Like I saved you guys. I was just wandering around. And, oh shit. I helped you guys out. Like it would make him look good. But other than that, I don't know who's going to show up. I guess who? Black Swordsman, baby. Ryo is here. Yeah, yeah. <gasps> Classic. Oh, that was sick. The CGI there is wonky. But, like, that was sick how he disarmed him, literally. Then shot the sword back down. Okay. Okay. <gasps> My hero. Ryo. Yeah. Flora. Oh, Flora, Flora, Flora. Another debt. You could never pay me back. Yep. Saved our ass in the Minotaur again. Yep. The main character. I just realized that Alphonse and Stewart hasn't done anything. Not a single one moment of Alphonse and Stewart killing goblins. What are they doing? Okay. 
that's kind of funny how he just... It's like the reverse of Uzumaki. Maybe this is just Uzumaki. You know the one that's just like falling into the hole? Uh-huh. Spirit Arts, baby. Here's the third one. Whew. It's already over. <laughs> CGI NPC emoting. <laughs> Just a repeat. <laughs> He just locked into one motion, bro. Oh, fuck. This is too funny. Was he always here? Wait, 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 wait. What the fuck? When did you show up, bro? Duke? Flora. And that's another episode of Spirit Chronicles. And Flora. The amount of debt on our plate just keeps piling on. And maybe we'll have some closure here, but I hope that Ryu just fucking leaves. If we ignore the CGI, honestly, the CGI makes it funny. It's... we're coping, right? We're coping here where rather than being mad at the CGI, I think it's more funny to shit on the CGI together and laugh at corporate greed. I, I think that creates a better environment for us to enjoy these type of shows. I don't expect good animation, but like, goddamn, some of the CGI was horrendous. Um, Ryu obviously showing up to save the day is sick. Wonder if Ray saw that, then Ray would be like, oh shit, it's that kid again. Alphonse Stewart, everybody is here. If you forget Christina, like pretty much a lot of the people that was, you know, back at, back at the Capitol is here, but uh, I'm not sure if they're going to recognize Ryo because of his uh, haircut, his hair color switch. I'm not really sure. Hiroaki? Yeah. I don't think that he's a bad person. He's just a stupid kid. And what do you expect from an otaku neat showing up to this place thinking it's a game? Of course he's going to act like this. It gives me shades of Natsuki Subaru from ReZero. And I don't think that he should be condemned or, you know, be mocked. Well, no, we should mock him when he's being stupid, but I'm not gonna, like, say he's just trash. I think that there is potential for him to grow as he acknowledges that, okay, I gotta take this more seriously. And if he does have development, I think, wow, what an amazing character development. Just complete 180 from this cocky piece of shit. Rowana, I think, right now is trying to seduce Hiroaki because obviously he's a hero and Rowana can, you know... Get she's just playing politics right now. Rowana, come on, you're better at being a gold digger, but hey, it is what it is. Aside from that, you know, it's just Ray's plotting his shit. Rote, you know, um, getting tired of everybody's bullshit. Ryo showing up and saving the day. And the conclusion here, what will happen? Because is Hugh not gonna be smart enough to realize who this character is? Will they remember him? Because like, did he hide? I can't remember, but like, I don't think he was trying to really hide himself other than switching his hairstyle, right? Maybe he had a hood on. Would he remember the wedding crash? That's it for me. If you're still here though, and if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for even more content. And until next time, take care.